Hi there! Welcome to our new OpenCar 3 tutorial. Last time we explained how to create products. Now it's time to show you how to create the categories and subcategories for those products. Ok, so let's get started. This is the main menu where the categories are located in your storefront. The main category you see in the menu is called a parent and it's located in the admin panel. The categories underneath are subcategories. You can see all the categories by clicking the View All button. This will show you all the products from each subcategory assigned to the parent. Let's show you how all that is configured in the admin panel. First stop, go to your dashboard and select Catalog. Then go to Categories. You will see the category list. To create a new category, click the Add New button. Now we see four tabs. General, Data, SEO and Design. Let's start with General first. You need to enter the category name. This should be a general phrase for all the products you will assign to the category. For instance, let's put in Hardware. Next field is a general description of the category. Let's enter a short description as in this example. The meta tag title is the headline that appears in your browser tab when you open the page. It also serves for SEO purposes. In our case, let's expand the hardware we wrote and write computer hardware. Your meta tag description is also for better indexing by search engines. For our example, we'll just enter personal computer hardware, motherboards, processors, RAM. MetaTag keywords can be all types of keywords related to the products you are assigning to your category. For instance, hardware, PC, PC components, processors, motherboards, RAM, GPUs, etc. Ok, so that's enough for the general tab. Now let's move on to data. And the first field here is called parent. It's where you determine the type of category you're creating. If you leave this empty, this means that you're creating a parent category that will be able to hold subcategory. If you're creating a subcategory, you use the parent menu to select the main category. In our case, we're creating a main category, so we're leaving the parent field empty. The second field is for filters. They're created from the filters menu in our catalog. For our example, we have created a few filters for memory. These filters will let customers narrow down results and find products faster. Next is the store field. You can use this to select multiple stores for assigning the same category to all of them. This is in case you're running a multi-store setup. In case you aren't, leave it as it is. And now the image. This is where you enter a single main image for the category. Click the empty image, then the blue pencil and upload your image. Then simply click on it and it will be assigned to the category. The next field is called Top. Taking this field will assign your category to the main menu in the storefront. If you want your category to have multiple columns with subcategories when customers hover over it, enter their number in the columns field. Now, to select where your category will show, set a sort order number. The last field lets you enable or disable your category. Moving on. SEO. If you're using SEO URLs in OpenCart, this is where you assign the keyword your store will use for a shorter URL. Enter the main name of the category. In our case, we'll enter PC Hardware. Last but not least, Design. This section lets you override the layouts to the category page and assign modules to them. 
This means that if you want to have the account layout showing in your category pages, you select it here and click save. We won't be doing that right now. Anyhow, let's click save and take a look at our new category in the storefront. And hit refresh. As we see, the new hardware category appears in the first spot in the main menu because of the sort order we set up. Here is how it looks. Now let's create a subcategory and assign it to this one. Our subcategory will be called processors. We repeat the process we did in the previous category and enter the rest of the info. Ok, as you remember, the parent field is the one that determines the type of category you're creating. Since we're creating a subcategory for the one we added earlier, we will enter hardware in the parent field. This means that our new category for processors is now a subcategory for the main hardware category. We complete the rest of the information quickly and continue to the storefront again. Refresh the page and we'll be able to see the subcategory we just created. Subcategories will also appear in the refined search area. And this is how you create categories and subcategories in OpenCard 3. We hope you learned something new today. Give us a like if this video helped you and subscribe to our channel for more OpenCard 3 tutorials. Thanks for watching.